Good afternoon, everybody. OK. Uh, so as I said, my name is Gustavo. I'm, fr I'm from Brazil. So you probably will notice my OK English by the, the <laughs> as we were going. Uh, so I want to share with you guys some simple solutions for complex problems. And I'll do that, try to do that by examples. Uh, I'll start with a story, a story that happened with a company in Brazil. It's a multinational company. They make a lot of like, different kinds of products, like shampoos and soaps and foods and whatever. And one of those products is the toothpaste. What happened is that one of the factories in Brazil that makes toothpaste had a problem. Because the, the toothpaste is an assembly line, right? So it comes a tube, they put paste inside, take the tube, put in a box, take the box, put all together, and send away. But they were having some problems that some of the boxes were without the tube inside. So they were just packing empty boxes and sending away. Uh, it's a problem because several customers will complain, of course, but also because toothpaste is one of the products that the content is cheaper than a package. Water is another example of that. So you drink water, water is cheap, but the, you pay for the, for the bottle, right? And toothpaste is similar to that. So what they do, they ask for two engineers to come to their company, uh, to consultants. So they evaluated how, how can we solve these issues, how can we do that? And they spent about three months and eight million reais, which is something about $3.8 million. And what was the solution, the genius solution that they found out? They bought a very, very sensitive scale. They put in the end of the production line. So when an empty box passed by there, the sensitive scale knows it, tells the computer, the computer resonates on an automatic arm, the arm comes, take the box, and everything stops until someone come and press the red button. So the line could keep going. Uh, that's, it's a complicated one, it's an expensive one, but it works, right? So everybody was happy with that. Uh, they took the reports, and no, no rejections were, were happening. Only uh, three months later that they will evaluate everything again. And when they do that, they notice, uh, besides the good results, of course, they noticed the machine was off for two months. And the question was, why and how did it happen? So they went to ask some managers, uh, some supervisors, why the machine was off, and how come the production is still good? No one, used, one could answer that. Until they went to the workers down in the factory. And the workers said, yeah, we, we turn it off. And they said, well, why do you turn it off? Ah, because it's so noisy. No, every time it stops, bam, 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 we need to go there and press the button. We don't want to do that. So we just stop it. OK, but how do we still get some results? We just got some money between us here, the workers, and we bought a very big fan and put it aside of the production line. <laughs> so, when, so when a box pass, it just blows away. So there's my solution, a very simple one, very cheap one. Both solutions are good. Both are good. Of course, this is better. This is cheaper and easier. Anyone can do it. Another story I want to share with you, just a personal experience. Uh, I was working with my dad back in Brazil, and uh, we were doing uh, some automation uh, for machines. And what we had to do, we had to cut some tubes as with a saw that come from under the table, whatever. The issue that we have is have this amount of tubes, and we have to take one of the tubes there. And we never could figure out how to do that in a cheap way because of the, 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 the price, right? And then we spent like days and days discussing that until we got hungry and went to McDonald's. When we went to McDonald's, we saw those things that you press and the straw come out. Only one straw, right? And I said, that's this, that's the solution that we need. Again, simple solution for the complex problem. We just took it and applied. Okay, not so simple, but it was good enough. <laughs> uh, these are some examples of commercial solutions, also for problems that we face every day, uh, and we never know how to do it. And someone have a brilliant mind to just make adapt into a notebook, make like an old book. Uh, maybe you just take those things that come with the bread, you put it in the end of the tape. You don't lose the end of the tape anymore. You can use an old brush and put your, your pencils there, your, your uh, scissors there, or whatever. What, what I'm, I'm, I'm willing to do here is just stimulate you guys to think out of the box. Uh, just like this one, they put a sponge and put in the bicycle. You can ride bicycle barefoot. That is amazing. <laughs> it's that kind of thing that you, you look and you say like, wow, how come I haven't think about that before, right? Uh, well, anyway, I just several, several examples come passing there how to use it to, to separate the cables. Uh, and I just, I like to, to remember one of a very smart guy that he said, eh, he was smarter than I at least. He said, a problem is a chance for you to do your best. So when you see a problem, don't go direct for the straight solution, you know. Uh, 
think a little bit different, think a little bit out of the box, and probably you're going to get to the simple solution as well. Thank you.